Happy Saturday everyone, it is jumble time. It's my local jumble sale again, the one where I got my Dr. Martin boots, £10 into 400 I think it was. So I always do well here, so very excited again. I'm actually filming with my new uh, microphone. So hopefully it sounds a bit better while I'm in here. I won't obviously have it plugged in when I'm in the room, but hopefully you should hear me a bit better. <laughs> Running a bit behind time again, as usual. So I've got to get going. I'll probably film straight away, do a bit of rummaging. Then a bit later on, I'll go through what I got again and see how well or see how rubbish I done. Let's get going. Well, that was absolutely mental. <laughs> I don't think I got much footage at all. It was just so busy and yeah. So apologies if there's not much footage, but I filled the boot again. I spent a lot more than last time, a lot more than 10 quid. I saw a couple of other dealers, I guess, resellers, picked up a couple of good things that I would have picked up straight away. But still, I've done all right. Got a couple of good things. Uh, I've taken a punt on a couple of things as well. I'll meet you back at mine. I'll sort through, do a bit of research, talk you through each one see what I can get back from. So I'll see you back at mine. Okay, we're back again. Got my new microphone plugged in, so you should hear me a bit clearer. Below average jumble this time, after last time, which was quite epic. 10 pound into 400. It's not quite the same here. Spent a bit more and I'm gonna get less in return, but still a few interesting bits. I'll go through one by one really quickly. A bit about each one, what I paid, what I'm looking to get and hopefully you can learn something from this again. Okay, I think we'll get the fail out of the way. Complete fail. And it was this Scooby-Doo sort of Stretch Armstrong toy. Which has gone hard anyway, which is even more of a fail. So it's a Scooby-Doo one that don't stretch. Even if he did stretch, people are selling these for 7 99 free post. So it was already in the charity shop pile, but now, yeah fit for the bin. Paid 50p, wasted 50p. Moving on to something a bit better, which is a uh, bread and butter for me. This 20Q, version two I believe, sort of 20 questions mini game, 50p. This goes at Amazon or eBay, sort of used condition, 20, 25 pounds. We're getting the ball rolling now. I grabbed this one, same time as Scooby-Doo, but this is a lot better and really cool. It's like Original 1990s Thomas the Tank charge rucksack. That's really good condition. Doesn't say the year on it. Yes, it does. 1996. It's just printed there. No damage. Really nice. Paid 20 pence for this one. The only sort of 15 to 18 pounds plus postage. Might have to wait a little while. But really cool. Same for my childhood. And that'll be welcomed in my retro store on Facebook. Didn't pick up any shoes this time. But I did get one item of clothing. Nothing too special, but quite nice. It's this super dry gilet or body warmer, however you want to say it. I think it's a men's size. Men's size medium, so my size. And I quite like this one. If I didn't have one already, I might keep this. 
nice sort of metal logo there or on the inside nice and clean again so it doesn't need to go in the wash or anything paid one pound for this one nice hood with it nice chunky knit free off the top of my head i don't really research free in a sort of 20 25 pound sale and it's into spring this is a good spring coat obviously no arms so you should see that go nice and quickly okay i don't normally do media but i was running a bit light on pickups so i had to wander over anyway i've taken a bit of a punt on quite a large stack so bear with me yeah i got this lot all were uh, train based sort of steam train sort of railway journeys looks like most of them are part of a magazine yeah video track video magazine for railway enthusiasts uh, two discs set yeah pick these up purely because my brother is a train nut and this is the sort of thing he would have or he used to have dvds were four for a pound the lady there kindly said all these for a fiver i briefly looked it up on ebay and someone got a set of six or seven i think it was for and they got 25 or 30 pounds just for that little lot so this is a nice big bundle i'm probably going to sell the lot as is one big bundle it only owns me a fiver and there is a lot of train enthusiasts out there even if these two don't go with it i see what they're like individually i doubt they're worth much and probably gated on amazon so i'll probably chuck them in just to make it more appealing or if not give it to my brother <laughs> it's his birthday soon no idea what i'm going to get back but estimate i'll probably have to end up reducing these so probably 35 40 pounds so not too bad but might have to wait a little bit i'm not sure I'll have a little bread and butter pickup. This Psycho, Seco, Oxford Dictionary crossword solver. I've had these plenty of times. These are just an easy sort of 18 to 20 pound plus post on eBay. Nothing more to say about that really. That cost me 50p because the batteries were like exploded. But I managed to clean it up. It does work. So yeah, nice 50p into 18 plus. Okay, now we're on to the bigger items. I found this hiding under the table. I actually got into a bit of a bidding war with one of the volunteers because she also wanted it. So I was originally paying a fiver, but after the bidding I had to pay ten. It's not as good as I was hoping, but it's still quite cool. It's this scale electric set. Looks like it's 90s, early 90s, mid 90s. Box is in okay condition. And also opening it up, everything looks to be there. It's got the manuals. Also, all the other paperwork, uh, power supplies there, track, power stations there, even some decoys, stickers, both cars also here, and the connectors also looking quite good actually, always worth checking them, they are replaceable but always handy if they're already in good condition, so they're there and in the tyres just fell off. No, we're good. So yeah, cars are there in good condition. And lastly, most importantly probably, the controllers. They're also both there, both in really good condition. So you can tell they've been looked after. They've been wrapped up nicely. Box is in good condition. So I've got no hesitations really that this will work. I paid a tenner and I thought I might get sort of 40 to 50 like while I was there. But in the rush, you don't really, you haven't got time to look it up. I'm actually surprised the value is quite low on this. Might be looking at sort of 20 to 25, which is pence. And if it's worth that, I might even keep this for the girls for a bit to play with. Or just stick it up high and sort of wait for an offer, decent offer. But I don't really want to let it go for below 35 if I can from a tenner. But still profit to be made. But just a bit disappointing. Next thing, I actually beat another reseller to this. So on the main table, apparently it had already sold. But they were taking their time to pick it up and they weren't 100% sure if they were buying it or not apparently. They said name a price, I said a fiver and I bought it. So, what was it? Ooh. It's this nice brother AX10 electric typewriter. Again, in really nice condition. It's been well looked after again, doesn't smell of smoke or anything. It's even got some paper in there. There you go, there's even a note in it. Quite interesting. 
This typewriter still works. Royal Wedding, April 2011. So that's already eight years ago. So I'll probably have to test it again. That's quite cool. So if that hasn't been used since then, it's been stored. Again, shouldn't be any problems with this. Made in the UK, which is always a bonus. It's got its plug hiding away. I think the original woman buying this thought it didn't come with the plug, which is why she was delaying. But it's actually right there, if you didn't know that. Yeah, I could have got it cheaper at a jumble, but as Son had already sort of reserved it, I had to pay up, well, pay up a little bit, five pounds. I thought I'd go for a bit more again. I thought I was gonna get 35 to 45, but looking at completed and sold, this looks like a sort of 25, 30 pounds unit plus postage. So again, not bad. A nice vintage item to go on my site. But thought I'd get a bit more again. Last but not least, was this nice little unit here. Came together, had to pay 20 pounds, which was astronomical for a jumble. Never paid 20 pounds for something at a jumble before. I actually met my first viewer live and scared the life out of me. <laughs> I didn't catch your name, but thanks for noticing. Hope you've done well. Kenwood's speakers, I believe. Uh, these separates are also Kenwood. And the turntable is Iowa. Iowa. Split these right down, sell them separately, so speakers will be on their own. Nothing special speakers, sort of probably 30 pounds plus post, which will pay for a lot on its own if they do go. Missing one of the signs, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Got the remote control. I haven't looked it up, but that's probably another 10, 12 pounds on that one. This is just a cheapy turntable. If it's all working, probably be lucky to get sort of 20 quid for that one. But again, it's all going towards what I paid for it. And these two down here, again, haven't really checked, but I'm thinking probably another 30. Disc player again, nice Kenwood, probably another 30, 35 pounds. It's all together for my 20. Should be looking at healthy profit. But again, not as much as I was hoping for which seems to be the theme this jumble. So all together, I spent about, I think it was 45 pounds altogether. It was obviously a lot more than last time, but it goes towards the scouts and helps towards their bits and bobs. So happy to help. And uh, briefly looking up my 45 pounds, 40, 45 pounds, should be looking at listed value of about 250. So again, nice little, only took me under an hour there and back. Not bad. Some more listings on my store. So overall, quite happy, but thought I could do better. I'll leave this one here. Thank you for the birthday messages. Really appreciate it. I got spoiled while I'm here. I'll show you my nice new camera bag that I got from the wife. Handmade, apparently, just for me. And also, the best bit, George Ross Retro Reselling. Got my own little personalized tag. So yeah, really happy with that. Yeah, make sure you like and subscribe again. Almost at a thousand now. And when I do get that, I'm planning on doing live for the first time. I've been planning to do it, but I've been putting it off because I can't edit live. <laughs> and there's a lot of editing that goes into these, I tell you. I'm halfway through filming my furniture, um, courier service, how I do it all. I'm halfway filming that, so that should be out later in the week or next week. Over's looking good for the boots hour again. And almost at two boots hours, my early and my late ones. So it should be getting even more pickups. But yeah, I'll see you around. Bye.